Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys if you run out of laundry detergent. And especially this is HE. Okay, this is for the HE machine. See that right there on the bottom right here? It says HE. And I was doing laundry. I discovered something I'm going to share with you guys. I have nothing left in here. It's only a little bit of drip left. And I found something that I've been experimenting for a while. And I figured out how they did it. I'll show you the ingredients right on the screen right now. It's an alcohol. Okay. Sort of like that. Now, if you take alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, and you spray it on bubbles, it actually disappeared. And if you notice, that's what they do when you have a lot of bubbles. Well, they put that ingredient in there to prevent bubbling. Uh-huh. Everything else is the same. They just prevent it from bubbling. And I'm going to go give you the clip right now. A, a testing clip right now plus I'm gonna do more testing here but I'm gonna give you the testing clip right now okay this is a short clip video hope it's gonna focus there you go you see how many how much bubble in there there's rarely any bubbles in there look how much bubble there is there nothing it's because we neutralize it we neutralize the bubbles Okay. Probably should be good enough for you to see the evidence right there. I put the normal amount for a normal load. And look at the suds. There's barely any suds in there. See that? Okay, so you saw this testing clips. And you didn't see any bubbles in there. And that's what is here. That's my mixture. Okay. Now. All you need. Is either vinegar. Or. Conditioner. Okay. Um, as you know. And um, probably some of you don't know. But. Vinegar. It has to be white vinegar. Okay. I have plenty of videos on there. I'll probably link them on to here too. Okay. That I play with vinegar and soap. And I have done dish washing. I have washing with dishes with just vinegar and soap. I mix all those. I'll link them all up to here so you can see when you get a chance. So you can, you can learn a little bit. But this video is about HE laundry detergent. When you're out of it and you don't know where, how to do it or whatever. Don't panic yet, okay? Because I'm going to show you how they do it. Yeah. They're cheating us all this time by putting things in so they can make it for HE. Because it's less bubbling. It's the same thing, it's just less bubbling. And look, they won't tell you the ingredients anymore. They start to hide a lot of the ingredients now. Before, they used to put ingredients on here. But people are stealing their proprietary stuff. So they no longer put them in. So if you have those old, old, old stuff and it still have ingredients in there, keep an eye on them, okay? Because later on, they're not going to tell you the ingredients anymore. Like this is right here. That's the ingredient that we want right there. Okay? And I'll put it on the screen right now. Okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a test too. And then I'll show you the formula. This one, it's just with just vinegar only. I'll put it just a little bit. Okay. And then, this one is just regular. It's the same thing, but without vinegar. And I'm going to fill with water so you can see. Oh, sorry. Reaching over you there. Now, this is one with without. You see how much bubbles in there? Now you see less bubble in there. It's bigger bubble. Oh, sorry. It's bigger bubble. But I actually put more in this one. But look how big the bubble is. Okay? 
Look how small these bubbles are. Okay, because we have nothing in there. Let me rinse this out. Now this is mixture of hair conditioner. So it's actually good if you want to put hair conditioner in there. Yep. Put hair conditioner in there. Put hair conditioner and dish soap. This soap. Just cheap this soap. And you will make your own HE laundry machine or laundry whatever. Just like you saw the clip before. See how big the bubbles is? Because it will it, dissipate really fast. And look. You don't get a lot of bubbles, okay? But when you put the real stuff in, you get a lot of bubbles. And watch, I'll throw down here. See that? Yep. So if you mix it, you will know. And here's the formula to that. You add 5% a vinegar and yes vinegar will soften your clothes too uh-huh it's a very well known thing to soften your clothes yep then you would go and add hair conditioner to that okay but it has to have this uh, I believe they call it seto row alcohol Ceterol alcohol or Ceterol alcohol. I'll list it on the screen. I don't even know how I would spell it, but I know what they are Because I researched into it So as long as the hair conditioner any conditioner, this is from salon selectives a cheap hair conditioner and add about I add about two to three percent in here depending on how you like it because you know Hair condition is always good for you anyway. Good for clothes anyway. Yup, believe it or not. You can use hair conditioner as your um, um, a laundry softener. Either hair conditioner or you can use distal water. I know I shouldn't make that separately, right? But yup, if you ran out of them, yup, you can. And this is what exactly what it would look like. Mm -hmm. This mixture is 5% vinegar, 100% um, this soap, just cheap this soap, because I ran out and that's what I did. And that's, uh, I've known this thing for a while and that's why I made it, I'm, I decided to make the video now. Um, and then about two, depending on how you like it, okay, I put about 1% to 1.5% and that's all you really need to be honest and that's all um, I'll put on the pH balance I forgot my pH balance test so I'll put it on the screen right now for you for the balance the pH balance test because um, I forgot where I put the things are but other than that I mean that's that's I guess that's about it on this video so once again, one more time, if you run out of detergent, don't panic yet and use the same amount, doesn't matter. Get your cheap soap, like dishwashing soap, add hair conditioner in and add white vinegar in, okay? White vinegar is about 5%. That's it. Because you want to cut the bubble down. That's what white vinegar does. That's how I discovered it. Then you add about 1% to 2% in. So calculate your ratio here. Whatever it is in here. You can eyeball it if you want. Yep. And that's how it comes like. See it? I'll bring it really close one more time before I cut off the camera. Right there. That's my dishwash. I mean, sorry, not dishwashing. 
it was from dishwashing detergent. Um, my homemade um, liquid soap. And that's for HE because we want less bubbles in there. And it has um, conditioner too, softener. So it's like you're doing both. But anyway, other than that, that's about it on this video. And I will see you in the next video. Okay?